So this is the cabinet that I bought. However, um, we don't actually need the top drawers of the cabinet. They're going to be, they just lift off. Uh, all we need is a bottom cabinet. Um, we'll use the bottom cabinet as the paint, painting cap, uh, oven as such. And when we've covered that in silver protective film inside, well, um, that will make the oven with a heater underneath or on the back. Um, and when we finished, we can put all the heating stuff back in the cabinet. Uh, we still have the drawers and the cabinet can still be used as a cabinet as well. So I'm just marking out the centre um, whereupon the heater unit is going to be fitted. Right, as you can see now we've cut the hole in the bottom of the cabinet and uh, we've also put on this um, reflective material which is um, stuff that's used for protecting paintwork on cars where the exhaust is maybe very close to the paintwork or the turbo is very close. It's actually quite cheap. Um, this was £18 for a square metre. So hopefully um, this is going to be enough to maximise the heat that's in the cabinet. Um, obviously there will be losses of heat within the cabinet but we've got a, a 1.5 kilowatt um, single plate heater that is actually going to be positioned um, in that central hole. Um, the reason for doing this is that we've actually got some form of adjustment on the heater so we can actually regulate the temperature within the cabinet um, if not manually but we can do it um, and there's going to be a tube um, dropped down around this plate metal tube which is just going to come up slightly above the centre of this floor so we've just got to fabricate that tube and then uh, we'll be ready to to do a, a test on the temperature so when using it on the back side for doing the wheels we use these brackets, there's four of these brackets, or there's only three here, uh, for supporting the cabinet just off the height of the cooker ring. And when we use the bottom um, hole in the cabinet, we use these rings uh, in, a circular, in a circular shape. And that is to, uh, to guide the heat up from the cabinet into the item that you're going to be painting. So this is one of the circles that we've cut out of the cabinet which we're going to keep and we're also going to keep one of the um, insulated discs we're going to mount onto the unit using some rivets or something and then we can put a bracket on it so depending on which hole we're going to use we can cover up either the back hole or the bottom hole. So here's the final cabinet, basically it's just a tool cabinet um, that's been covered in the inside with this reflective heat shield material. We've made a steel tube and the hot plate is in the middle there and we just had to make a small cutout around the uh, temperature knob um, and basically that's it so we're going to switch that on and see what uh, temperatures we can get to inside we've still got to put a, a hanger support here for small pieces but this actually fits the MGB wheel which is what it was bought for um, for powder coating the wheels so this is the secondary hole that we put in the rear of the cabinet um, with the heater underneath uh, and this is basically for doing wheels because uh, it's very easy to lay it down in there rather than stand it up on the, uh, on the using the bottom hole. You see we've still got the bottom hole in there that we can use for doing items that are longer but uh, like I say this one is purely for doing the wheel. So the wheel's all been rubbed down with a wire brush on a drill and it's ready now for spraying. Um, the earth lead is on and um, just filling up the chrome paint now 
and we'll come back once it's been painted. Alright, that's the high chrome cover uh, in a powdered version. And now we're going to stick it into the oven and see what the result is. Alright, so that's the uh, first stage of the chroming. And unfortunately there are a few bubbles in the sections that were almost impossible to clear when it came to removing the old, old paint. But generally the, the finish is, is pretty fabulous. And so we're going to go over now with a clear coat just to keep this gloss finish. Alright, so that's now got the clear coat on it. And it's going in for the final cook. Um, and hopefully it'll still be a nice chrome finish. So this is the chrome well after the clear coat. And as you can see, quite a lot of chrome, you know, the real sparkle of the chrome has been dulled down. However, without putting this clear coat on, I'm told that, uh, that it will eventually dull down a lot more than this. So at least this is now in a state that, uh, that it will remain as. It shouldn't dull down from this. Um, I think it's pretty much okay.